Hi, today we are in uh, Cine class for the concert of uh, Swallow the Sun, Oceans of Slumber and Aeonian Sorrow. We are here in the company of Aeonian Sorrow and I would love to introduce the band to you. So, uh, could you tell us who is Aeonian Sorrow? Hi, we're, uh, I'm Jukka from Aeonian Sorrow. I play the guitar on the band and here is our lead singer, Ville. Yes. So, besides me and Jukka, there are, on this tour there's of course Gogo, uh, our another lead singer, then Daniel, our drummer, and Tanali, our, our guitar, other guitar player. And greetings to Pyr, our bass player who couldn't make us for this tour, but you can still hear his bass and soul in our music. He's yeah. with us in spirit. <laughs> That's important, of course. Yeah. So uh, you've been touring Europe at the moment. Um, today we are in Sydney class. How was the tour so far? Uh, the tour has been gone uh, like clockwork, like no problems. Nobody didn't got left on the gas station <laughs> or anything. I've been uh, under the fever for a few days now, but I'm, I think I'm getting yeah. better every day. So, yeah. and we have uh, lots of shows and yeah. really nice towns to come. So. So, so the tour isn't finished yet and uh, you still have to become top level? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, everyone is supporting each other. We know that personally the guys from the Swallow Sun, you know, so it's just you know, an honor to tour with them. And, you know, we've been treated very kindly and, you know, we have just like, it doesn't feel like there's three separate bands. It's like really this group of metal musicians, enthusiasts who are like hanging together and, you know, I mean, visiting Europe, uh, like a huge family. How, yeah. you, how would you say? Yeah. Like that's cool, of course, to tour. But what seems uh, very particular to me is that in this uh, infinite list of of new bands or existing bands, um, you seem to become quite popular at the moment. I see there's a lot of reactions uh, when it comes to uh, the bands. Do you feel the same way? Uh, yeah, but I, it's a hu huge like mass of like doom metal bands. But I think uh, it's uh, Go Go's voice that makes us like separate from the other bands. Like and the whole like Greek theme, like underneath it all. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I think it's an interesting mix. Like for me, the Crawlin thing and her clean vocals, and also I think what separates us from many bands is the energy on stage that we give. I mean. Every night we like give it to one hundred percent and more, you know, and that's really what I'm proud to say that like we have some something that separates us is the energy, I think. Yeah. yeah. So even though I'm in fever you're gonna see yeah. lots and lots of head banging <laughs> today, I promise you that. The fever doesn't bother you, that's cool. That's rock and roll. <laughs> Okay, so um, what about the album? Is it still going, still selling, um, still getting picked up uh, by the media? Uh, yes, and uh, what we've noticed on this tour that we uh, packed way like few less merch. We have sold really good merch and after the shows people are coming and even they came here to see us or even they came here to see Swallow the Sun, they co uh, come and greet us and say that, hey, you were amazing. And then they usually pick up a shirt or a CD. And I think we only have one CD left. So <laughs> I think we're doing pretty yeah. good. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, but we have good news for everyone. We have a vinyl just came out. And you know, we have still plenty of vinyls if you come to see our show. So and like we'd be surprised because in some parts of the world, you know, music, who buys and how music is being bought is like in the transition. And you know, we see clear that people still want to buy CDs and that's like a, even like a big surprise for like many people still like. Yeah. yeah I think people buy CDs or vinyls uh, sometimes uh, uh, as to remember the show or yeah, yeah, to have a souvenir uh, yeah. some, somehow. But for example, in Scandinavia, the vinyls are what people buy, you know. They yeah. want to, it's because the artwork you can like and the sound and you know it's a something a souvenir that you take away with you from the show yeah. speaking of the artwork it seems that you put a lot of effort into the artwork it's uh, it's yeah really special yeah. i think can yeah. you tell us something about yeah it? and that's also like done in house by our singer gogo and she's a very very talented designer graphic designer and she like 
does work for a lot of other bands, and that's actually something to create network. How we can like create network is by like and getting getting friends. It's like true hard work, and you know we're just blessed that we have such a talent in our band, and then we have a lot of talent in this band. So we can like in the different fields of expertise gives each our own like package for the band. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a like a team. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to be, of yeah. course. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the strongest bands are always the bands who work as a real team and uh, who go for each other in good and in, in bad days. Um, so how long have you been going as a band? Because that's not quite clear for everyone at the moment. Uh, I think we've been uh, playing for a year or a year and a half, yeah, so like in Ionia and Sorrow, because we're not like original members who did recording of the albums. But um, they needed some good looking and guys on the stage, so they hired me a villa, and that's why we're here. Yeah. So. so everything is going pretty fast actually at the moment. I mean, in half on the, uh, a year and a half, an album, to two times you've been touring, uh, I believe. So uh, it's pretty hard work, also, I suppose. Yeah, but I mean, we have like. Uh, we want to do this truly, and I wanna, we want to put effort into this, and we're like excited to do it. So like, why not to like, well, not to rush, but why to wait? I mean, yeah. we try to you know evolve and you know go further. You know? Okay. And is it a full-time op occupation for everyone in the band, or do you something besides uh, as well? Uh, at this uh, at this point, you can't yet support uh, six band members, yeah. but. Uh, but eventually it would be like a dream come true but for now we need to uh, stick with some of our daytime jobs yeah okay. and is there something we need to know about uh, the future like I mean make uh, signing to another label or uh, another release or uh, or maybe something we don't want uh, we do not supposed to know no comment on that <laughs> so there's something definitely coming up <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say that, you know, the good thing is music nowadays is that it's available for everyone. Of course, you have to, you know, as you said, there are so many doom metal bands, just in our genre, that we have to, like, really try to stick out. But the thing is that we don't have to take a bad deal, like, from a bad record label. We want to, like, see, see what's what, and we can do so much by ourselves. But, you know, there's definitely stuff coming as we speak. We are recording something, you know. Yeah. But... Like Yuka said, no comment. Okay, we respect the no comment. And okay, can you tell us something about um, the origins of the band? I mean, why you became a musician? What uh, influenced you? What motivated you to be a musician? Um, can you tell us something about that? Uh, I don't think we can uh, tell all that much about like Ionia and Sorrow's origin because we weren't like original members and we were first hired to do a few live shows and then as a full membership before this tour but uh, for me like when I was 13 or 14 years old I just saw some really nice guys at stage and I was like hey I want to do that sometimes mm -hmm. and then I gathered the money everybody else bought mopeds and shit and I bought mm -hmm. like a, I'm actually a bass player at first, so I bought a bass guitar first and started going from there, so... And now we're here, so... I think That's it's definitely a self-conscious thing to do. Yeah, I mean. yeah. My, my story is like... It's pretty like similar. I, will like, I remember like finding this Uri Hahib album, like LP from my father's collection, and I saw these guys with like tight pants, leather pants, and with like curly big hair, and I was like, like what the... F is this like... Like, is the, like, who are these people? And I get kind of excited. But I, at the same time, I found that I am like just like them. I was the weird kid, you know. And then yeah. so I found the, found the other weird kids, and suddenly, like, I found that the music is something that connects us, you know, in a way. So like. But the good news is, metal is the fastest growing genre in the world. So there's a lot of uh, weirdos uh, coming up. <laughs> okay, one final question. Um, which are the 
uh, bands or the albums that stand out for you that you say if I ever have to leave to uh, an uninhabited island I would definitely take the, these three, two, four uh, albums uh, with me. I know it's a difficult question but uh, what, for, what comes up first in your mind? Um, oh man, <laughs> Slayer, Rain in Blood, Jimi Hendrix, Electric Leyland, and the third one, oh my god, it has to be something different. Well, I, okay, no comment. Yeah. <laughs> Probably uh, like Megadeth, maybe some old Finnish um, folk singer. I'm gonna not pronounce his name, but Ji uh, Karjalainen. Finnish guy's gonna know this. JK. And uh, yes. And um, the third one is really, really hard. I want to say something old school, but I, I don't know. My third one, because he's a Megadeth guy, yeah. and we always have like almost fist fight about it. It's Metallica Black Album. It's my third pick. Okay, okay. leave it I, that. I have maybe <laughs> one. one bonus uh, question because it seems you have a lot you have a lot of inter, uh, a lot of in influences and you named like folk and things like that is that something that uh, transpires into the band as well uh, m me myself I haven't done any composing for a Aeonian sorrow but I'm uh, really looking for, for forward for the next album like really looking forward to compose music there so I wouldn't say that next album is gonna sound like Megadeth, but like. <laughs> okay. You? Yeah, yeah. As we like before, you said that there's this like Greek vibe in our music. So, the next album we're gonna try new things. We're gonna try, you know, do maybe some of our own compositions. You know, the rest of the band, and we will see what happens. But I think with music, uh, nobody wants to you know repeat the same bad pattern. Of course, have a signature sound, but still always bring something new to the music. So yeah. if it's Finnish folk influence, it shall be, but probably it won't. But, uh, you know, just to give an example. Yeah. But you keep your mind open and uh, you're ready to explore uh, everything which comes on your path and which might be useful to compose songs. Uh, yes, but uh, on the terms of still, when you hear the new tape, you know, gonna know it's uh, Ionian Sorrow. Like, no questions asked, like on those terms, of course. Okay, that's clear, of course. Okay, so that was my last question for you okay. guys. Um, thank you very much for this uh, interview for uh, Metal uh, for Infinity. And um, I wish you a good show tonight. Um, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.